We have a horse that is fairly fetlock varus. Okay, so varus meaning there's more distance or air between our fetlocks. What caused that? What was, what was the cause and effect? If I drew a line down the center of my radius and down the center of my cannon bone, can you see how the radius is to the medial aspect of our carpus or to the medial aspect of our cannon bone? What we have happen, if we can imagine this ruler being our cannon bone, okay? As I push down on the medial aspect, same thing as when you're bumping. If I push down on the medial aspect of that ruler, what happens to the distal end, right? The bottom end. You can see how it's going to push out. If we look here, he also has a fairly flat carpus. And when I say that, he doesn't have much rotational deviation. So as I bear weight and I push down again on that medial aspect of my carp, my cannon bone, I'm going to push it to the lateral side. So you can see that I'm pushing laterally on the distal end of my cannon bone, which is going to create that fetlock varus conformation. If I bring this foot forward, as soon as I take him from non-weight bearing, can you see how that fetlock, the cannon bone comes here, that fetlock really wants to go that direction. This is a quite a common shoeing protocol that I do. So I just punched a couple nail holes inside of my fuller end line on my outside and I put just a bit of a lateral extension on and it really hides that and gives that horse a support.